So, my name is Andrew Marks. And my name is Christopher Marks. And we are going to show you what we can do with dry ice, or what you can do with dry ice at your home. So, what I have here is an ordinary film can with just warm water in. And I also have a very small bit of dry ice. Watch what happens when I put it in the same tin. This gas that you can see coming out of it is simply carbon dioxide. It seems to be making gas, it's making quite a bit of it as you can see. And all gas needs to go somewhere. And since the film can's open, the gas can just go out. But what do you think would happen if I put the lid on? So, Not bad, is it? Not bad, is it? It's quite a good explosion. So, it's quite simple. All you need is a bit of dry ice, but remember, never touch dry ice with your fingers. Use a spoon with some tongs, but never touch it, it'll burn you. It's that cold. As you can see, all the effects are probably going to be the same. This is a rather good one because it's small and it doesn't click on, it sort of slides in like this. So you have the best results from what I've done with these type of film cans. Are clear? No. So, anyway. Remember, puff and blow on it to get the gas out, most of the gas. So when you put it on, it's not going to blow up as soon as you get it. So. And here it goes. Hmm, guess that one landed on the roof. <laughs> so, I guess we can't use this one anymore. So, as I like to call this trick, I call it the exploding film tin. The experiment I'm going to be showing is called the singing spoon. It may sound dumb, but it is very interesting. So, you take your spoon and put it in some warm water. Take your spoon out, take the tip of it, and press down hard on your dry ice. And if it doesn't work, put it back in the water and try again. The experiment I'm going to be showing you is called the freezing ice. Freezing water. And, well, you take the spoon, you get some water on it, and you press it down on it. It may sing, but it freezes. And then you will have something like this. We do not recommend touching it and do not put it on your tongue. Because my brother Andrew Marks has put it on his tongue and it was stuck and he ripped part of his tongue off. So, can you remember all of that? What we have here is an ordinary spoon of water. There's nothing added. All this is, is ordinary water. What I am about to do is I'm going to put this spoon on the dry ice. The freezing point of water is zero degrees centigrade. However, the freezing point of dry ice is 40, below 40 degrees centigrade. So it would be able to take out the heat of water very easily. And here we have it. Frozen water, simply by putting a spoon on dry ice. So, what I have here is a standard coffee cup and a few small bits of dry ice. You want to use the small bits because the big bits is, is, is just not going to work. You need a lot of little bits rather than a lot of big than one giant bit. So, as you know, as I showed you with the um, film can, when you put dry ice in water, it makes carbon dioxide. Well, this particular lesson I like to call potionry in a coffee cup.
It's simply, it's well, it's the probably one of the simplest things you can do to make it look like you've got a bubbling cauldron. They actually use this in movies. It's a universal trick. This gas that you see here is simply carbon dioxide. Because all dry ice is, is frozen carbon dioxide. It's simply a frozen gas. So, they usually use dry, dry ice for food packaging because it keeps the food cold and, rather than regular ice, it creates a gas rather than water so you don't end up with soggy meat or crab cakes or whatever this was. So, here we have it. Potionry in a coffee cup. This is one of my favourite tricks. What this is, is not really a trick, but more of a prank. As you can see, what I have here is a simple toilet. So, what I'm going to do is take a small, well not really small, but medium sized bit of dry ice, and put it in the toilet. This size are a bit bigger, but not much bigger than this, otherwise the trick, it sort of loses it, and you'll lose a lot of dry ice in the toilet. So watch this. The incredible steaming toilet, as I like to call it. It's a great trick, and if you leave it for a while, it turns to this. A steaming toilet. And imagine the surprise of someone when they're ready to go to the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, they lift the toilet seat up, and it's bubbling, and there is smoke coming out of it. It's not actually smoke, it's carbon dioxide. We put a hidden camera in the bathroom to see what the heck they're gonna do when they open the lid and it's steaming. What the heck? This is probably one of my stupid experiments. Or... <laughs> What I'm going to be showing you is a singing spoon. I know it sounds dumb, but it's very interesting. So you take your spoon, put the dry ice on. Cut! Okay, well what I'm going to be showing you is called the singing <laughs> cut. The experiment that I'm going to be showing you, and the experiment I'm going to be showing you now is called tip cut. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's called the freezing water on the spoon. Okay, let's take two action. Okay. <laughs> so, they usually use dry ice. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> you... I'm behind daddy. And dioxide in like meat packaging, like this. This one. We got the, this is steak. Why they use it is. To keep the um, food warm, cold, cut.